All right, so I just got out of the gym. My first day at this new gym. I, uh, I guess I'm, I just moved to a new city. Not a new city, but a city that I haven't lived in a long time and I don't know the gyms. And I, uh, I guess I'm gonna try out a different gym until I find the one that I like the most. Today I went to Fit Zone. It's out on East Victoria. Uh, the city that I'm in is Regina. Saskatchewan and the fit zone is it's a really nice well-equipped gym uh, <laughs> a few things that I noticed is it's not too busy which is nice there's a few people there but they all seem like they go there regularly that's not a packed place all the time uh, once you get a membership you can be there 24 hours that's really cool I uh, I realized that the years I spent going to the gym I went to in my in Weyburn, in my hometown, uh, kind of spoiled me for knowing what equipment does what. <laughs> I, at my gym at the Microtel in uh, Weyburn, had a Smith machine and a Universal machine, and you could adjust it to do whatever you needed to do. But this gym has much more equipment that's specialized and so you actually have to know what each machine kind of does which is fine if you kind of have a background knowledge and I kind of do so I could figure some things out but at the same time I spent probably 15 minutes out of an hour wandering around looking for the right machine right setup right stuff to do what I needed to do and looking for weights I mean maybe if I once I'm more familiar with the gym then that would be null. It wouldn't mean wouldn't matter at all. But the fact that I had to spend all that time looking for stuff cut into my workout. Uh, their ellipticals are not the the ellipticals I'm used to. They're more like uh, ski machines almost. They simulate cross country skiing, where I'm used to the rotating type elliptical. I prefer that kind. I. Uh, it didn't give you the same stats that uh, like it didn't give you the right the same distance uh, it gave you strokes or steps or strides or whatever it gave you but it, it, it was a different setup than my standard gym uh, everybody that I met seemed really cool they were all really nice uh, the guy who runs the place and one of the personal trainers that works there they seemed really cool uh, note for the next gym that I go to I have to buy a lock to make sure I have a lock on a locker I stuck my bags in their office for a little while they said I could and then uh, after every after the people who worked there left I mean uh, I, I couldn't leave my bags in the office anymore so I had to carry them around with me which is I mean a little bit of a pain in the ass uh, no Wi-Fi that I knew about I that would be really a high point. So, maybe the next place will have Wi-Fi. I think tomorrow I'll try. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I got to do. But uh, maybe Gold's Gym will have a, a Wi-Fi or uh, something. I think I'll go to G Gold's tomorrow. Uh, but Fit Zone overall, like if I was going to rate it, I'd give it four out of five stars. It's just, I'm not sure if it's the right fit for me. So, but I've got a, a week's worth of uh, free membership. I can come for a few more days if I wanted to. I think tomorrow I'll try a new gym. Uh, and maybe, maybe after that I'll try another one. Like there's a lot of gyms in the city. The membership cost here is $35 a month, which is a bit much. And they have a big sign right on the door. Uh, uh, fees are non-negotiable. Although I was talking to a guy in the locker room and he said that he's been coming to this gym for six years and he'd never go anywhere else. Like he just, the, between the people who work here and the quality and maintenance of the equipment and the upkeep of the place, he says there's, he'd never go anywhere else. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's about it. They have tanning, but I'm not going to use that. Uh, they have towels they cheat they charge for towels which I thought was a little 
odd. I mean, $35 for a, a monthly membership and then you charge for washing towels on top of it. Seems a bit much. Um, yeah, but I mean, maybe three and a half stars out of five. Still, a really good gym. I uh, If you're up for paying that price and you need a gym where that isn't crowded, this is the place to go. I might end up coming here. Just, it depends what the other gyms look like. So that's going to be my gym review for today. I'll, I'll maybe try and post another one tomorrow after I go to, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to try Gold's tomorrow. We'll see, see how I feel in the morning after I get my son to school. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.